Hola everyone, today I'm going to introduce a JavaScript string method called PestDart. And for PestDart, it is a string prototype method. So if we look at the MDN, we will see that it is actually consists of um, two uh, arguments. The first one is the target length, which is a number. And the second one is optional. It is the pet string to pet before the string. So uh, here's an example. For example, if the string is a single card, which is a five, and if we call it with a string dot pass dot two uh, comma, and then the second argument being a string zero, then if we run the code, we see that it will be zero five. But as we said that the second argument is optional. So for example, if we uh, leave it uh, un, uh, nothing, so we will be the default value, which is the space. So for example, if we add this one, to uh, cross out the second argument and run again, we will see that it becomes uh, space five with a result of two uh, of a length of two. And here is an other example, which is an application. So, for example, if there is a something like a uh, credit card number sixteen digits, so if uh, they uh, have this, uh, so if they slice it with negative four, negative four means uh, start from the end, so it will be the last four digits, which is 5581. And uh, pet is pet start with the original length of 16, and with the average test, then the result will be so keeping the last four digits and with all the previous 12 digits being average test. So, um, this is the use of uh, pet start, and where can we applicate, apply it? So, if you want to apply it in our uh, to do list project. Actually, the initiation of this video is a comment by uh, YJP. So thank you, YJP, for following uh, my to-do list series and reporting a bug. And I'm sorry that I make a bug again. So uh, his comment say that thank you for producing the video. And um, there, there is a issue when he dragged the event from a day to another day on the Canada. And uh, when he dragged from the January 4th to January 6th, then the uh, new date in the table is January 6th, but then the event is dragged. But uh, the console window shows a January 6th, but then it disappeared from the calendar. So uh, he produced a console log reference, which is at the line 46, 476. So uh, let's look into our code. So if we look into our code, the JS file, and into the 476. Okay. So if we look into here, and we can see that uh, there's no to, to sort it here because uh, we are using different code bases. But what, what can we do to find it? So we can use the find method. So control F to find the to store date. So if we use control F, we can see that it is at our uh, line 631. And here, this uh, to store date is actually in the function of Canada drag event. Canada event drag is the callback of the drag event of uh, the Canada. So this is the pattern, the year into a year, month, uh, date, and uh, that, uh, this is the date string, and we are using a time string here. So um, let's uh, try it in our, um, let's run it and try it. So for example, if we have some event here and a item here, for example, if we have this uh, event, if we drag it, then we see that it is still there. But for example, if this is the uh, 1700, if we drag it to another date, then it just disappears. So what is the problem? So if we look into the code, we can see that, uh, if we look into the table, we can see that the date is correctly changed to January 6th, but then uh, the time is becomes uh, 17 colon one zero, single zero. So this is a problem because uh, the, the time string becomes uh, Sorted, so uh, for Canada cannot recognize this time, so it cannot render this event. So to solve this issue, we will need to uh, pad our time string. So we will need to go to our uh, JavaScript code. So here, the hour and the minute is get from uh, here. Okay. The hour is using the date object dot get hours, and the minute is the date object dot get minutes. They both return a number. So when it is a two-digit number, then it will fit the final uh, string format. But if it's a single-digit number or zero, for example, if it is zero, then it will um, become zero. It will become a single zero when we finally drag it. So here what we need to do is 
uh, here. So we need to, uh, instead of using our, we need to make it. Okay, let's try it. Let's try to uh, apply the string method. Just apply it with um, has start to zero and see if there's error. To zero. So if we do it in this way, then probably there will be some error. But let's see. For example, if save it and go to uh, the VS Code and go to our Chrome and uh, open the console. So let's go to the console and keep track of any error message. So now what we need to do is, for example, if we are dragging this event to another time, so it will be an error which says that our dot pass start is not a function. The reason is that uh, there is a type mismatch because uh, pass start is to be a string dot prototype dot method. So we cannot apply it on a number. So here what we need to do is go back to our uh, code. And here what we need to do is to convert it into a string first with the to string method. So for example, to string dot pass start and made it dot to string dot pass start. Uh, we can put some uh, simple chain um, function here inside the dollar sign bracket in a template literal. So if we save it again and go to our VS Code again, we run it again. For example, now we are dragging this uh, October, this one, this event to another date. For example, drag it from uh, January 7th to January 8th. If you drag it this way, you can see that it is moved successfully. And now if we have an event, for example, if we delete this too, and if we add a new event, a uh, new event, with any category and uh, with a date of, for example, um, today and a time of a 00 ending. So, for example, it is 800. If we click add, now we have this new event at the uh, January 8th of the 2000. And let's try to move it to uh, January 9th. Now, when we move it to January 9th, we can see that it is still uh, in the Canada. And in the table, we can see that the date. The time now is correct. It is 20 zero zero. So this is the application of the test start. So it is here. So in the uh, Facebook, it is applied in this way. So we have an hour, which is get from the uh, date object. And we have a minute, which is get from the date object, the get minutes method. And they are both numbers. So when we apply the test start, we must use the to string first. And after using to string and convert it, into a string, we can use the pass start method and we can uh, add the number of length which we need, which is two, and we can add the string zero. So this one need to be quotation mark because it is a string zero. So this is how to uh, fix it. And actually we can apply it on uh, the month and the date too, which is, uh, this is the traditional way when we don't have the uh, pass start. So we check, we convert it into a string and check the length and it is smaller than two, we add a zero before. So Concatenate it. So this is the uh, old way, and test start is the new way. So I hope you like this video, and if you find any new bug on my um, tutorials, please uh, report to me. Thank you. Bye bye.